So guys, today back from a video on the channel. Today we are going to be doing the Newcastle United versus Leicester City preview. It's a massive game. Both teams have hit some dodgy form recently. Yes, Leicester have played some very good teams and Leicester are second in the Premier League. Whilst us have lost the last two games. Our cracks starting to show for Steve Bruce, we don't know yet. But in this video, we'll be looking at Leicester, looking at Newcastle, and then we'll round off the video there. Also, in this video, you'll see a Leicester City's fan view on the game. So I'll say like, a little bit about Leicester, but you're going to see the most part about Leicester as uh, his thoughts. Before I start off the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into the preview now. And we'll start off by, I'll do my little talk about Leicester, and we'll hear from the Leicester fan view. So my view on Leicester this season, obviously the return of Iosi Perez at St James's Park. Uh, the game for Leicester should be a sellout. I'm going to quickly say now for any Newcastle fans travelling to the game, if you normally use bus or metro, none of them are on. So you've got to make uh, arrangements because there's no buses or no metros to the game. I'm just going to quickly put that out now. But Leicester City, obviously Iosi Perez. Uh, he hasn't been great for Leicester, but against West Ham he did get to assist. Uh, and obviously us, we don't really like him. Well, I don't really like him because since he lied to all the Spanish media, to the Newcastle media, to the Newcastle fans, said that he wants to go to Spain and join Leicester. Uh, for me, I can't see him staying there for maybe his next season and the season after that he'll probably go to Spain. He's in the prime of his career and he probably will go there, but obviously... Against West Ham, there was no Soyuncu, no Chilwell, no Vardy, no Madison starting. So that scares me. Obviously, Vardy had his bed, but he will start against us, which is just shite, isn't it? You, your lot have been fantastic this season. Obviously, last time we played you was a 5-0 Leicester. That game was absolutely terrible. But it sort of helped us because losing that game really made Steve Bruce think and had to work and after that we went on to beat Manchester United so yeah anyways the last six games I'll quickly go through them now and you can see the Leicester, Leicester fans view so they beat Aston Villa 4-1 uh, they drew to Norwich 1-1 which was a disappointing result then drew 2-2 to Everton and then beat them on penalties 4-2 got beat to Man City got beat to Liverpool but then beat West Ham so there's a lot of positives and negatives in there, but let's hear from the Leicester fan now. Cheers to Binks for having me on for this opposition preview. Obviously, we're playing you for the third time this season on New Year's Day. We played you earlier on in the year in the league where we won 5-0 at home. And then we went away and played you in the cup, which was actually a draw, but we went through on penalties and we're still in the Carabao Cup. We've got the semi-final with that coming up against Villa in the next couple of weeks. But in terms of the game on Wednesday, it's going to be a difficult game. It's a difficult place to go. And for us, I think it's important that we do go there, though, and get the three points because we haven't been in the best of form over the last couple of weeks. We drew to Norwich, lost to Liverpool and lost to Man City. But we did go away to West Ham and get three points with a very rotated team. So hopefully against you guys, we see a lot more of the key men and are back to full strength. Going to St. James's Park is always a difficult place to go. Obviously, your fans are always right behind the team and you're doing quite well this season. Obviously, you lost your last game at home against Everton. But apart from that, you've got a decent record at home. So it's going to be hard to go there and get the three points. But if we do want to stay in the Champions League places, we do need to start building momentum again and go on another winning streak like we did before the few losses that we've had and really start to build that momentum and really sort of build the confidence back within the team. Because the, the humiliation at home to Liverpool, that would have knocked the guys' confidence and hopefully they can bounce back. I know that we, we won against West Ham, but that was a very changed team. So... This will be the first time since a lot of these players have played since we got beaten on Boxing Day by Liverpool. In terms of the starting eleven, I think Brendan will go with a 4-1-4-1. So in goal and back to captain, we will have Schmeichel. Then the back four will be Ricardo, Evans, Siunchu and Chilwell. With one holding midfielder of Ndidi with Tielemans and Madison in front of them. I've got Gray on the left and then your old player, obviously, Iosi Perez on the right with Vardy up top. So on paper, it's a strong enough team to beat you guys. But I know how well Steve Bruce has got you playing at home. So it's going to be a very, very difficult game. And I've gone for a 3-1. So obviously, Newcastle United haven't been in great form recently. Uh, they haven't been great against Manchester United. It wasn't great. 
against Everton. Yeah, there was a couple of good signs, but the referee stunned the show and we should have got at least a point from that game by pushing the back from Sidibe. I still can't get over that how that wasn't a pen. But we've got to move on and forget about that game. We've got Leicester now, the second best team in the league. It's going to be hard, obviously. Uh, from injuries, I don't think anyone will be fit who's been injured recently. Uh, Man Q obviously had a little not against Manchester United. I expect him to come back in for Yedlin. Uh, Jet will say left wing back, as I'm thinking. Do you bring Matty Longstaff in? Because I've got a feeling that Matty Longstaff could come in and maybe change the game and bring that little bit of energy to the team. Or maybe Sean. I know Sean's been disappointed this season, but we've just got to try and develop him into the team. It is hard when you're not getting game time, and then when you do play against the likes of Manchester United, it is hard. I could understand that. But obviously, Newcastle United haven't been great. We've got to forget about it. We've got to move on, and we've got to push forward and focus on this game. Obviously, after this game, we've got the Cup. I do expect, especially against Rochdale, I'm going to expect the likes of Darlow. Hopefully Muto, maybe Key, players like that get a start because it's what they need. It's some game time, but hopefully we do. Hopefully we can get a cup win on the Saturday. But with your lot uh, benching a lot of players for West Ham and still getting the result, the confidence is going to be there, and you're still playing like your reserves. Obviously getting Pellegrini sacked. Fair play to your boys. Anyways, lads, uh, that's going to be the end of the preview. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the Leicester fan uh, in the description down below. Obviously, I'll be at the game predicting the team out tomorrow with my vlog and player ratings out on New Year's Day. Hope you have a new, ho ho hopefully you have a new uh, good New Year. Anyways, lads, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.